We're with uh, head coach Lenny Jankowski. Coach, uh, today's uh, the annual media day, and uh, things are going hot and heavy out here today. Uh, a lot of cameras. Uh, guys look like they're having a really good time. Yeah, I mean, I think, well, at least I always know it's high school football season when we got the, the big lens, the big toe, and the, and the <laughs> right. distinguished voice. Uh, right. So we're, we're excited about, you know, what we've got going here with media day. Uh, we finished our second practice this morning, and so I think, uh, I think we're on track. Everybody's rolling pretty good. Uh, Coach, uh, the summer workouts concluded a few days ago. You guys have been doing seven on sevens, all kinds of great things, lifting, running. I mean, all, all kinds of stuff. Uh, what's your outlook uh, for the upcoming season? Well, we're pretty excited. I mean, obviously, I think it's been well noted that we, we have some position uh, battles going into fall camp, and, and uh, we obviously replace some good, have to replace some good players and, and a lot of production from last year's team. That being said, I think uh, our players have been up to the challenge throughout the summer. Uh, and really, the, the first two days of fall camp have been exceptional. So I'm pretty pleased, uh, looking forward to continue to get better, and uh, we're going to need to to be able to compete early in the season. Um, the schedule this year, we're fortunate enough to have several uh, home games um, and uh, just a couple uh, away games. What type of impact does that does that have, you think, on, on this team, or do you already have them prepared? It doesn't matter whether we play home away. It doesn't matter where we go, who we play. Well, I mean, we're very fortunate, and, and you know, we're not we're not going to pretend that, that that's not the case uh, to be able to play the home games and, and play here at the Citrus Bowl and in front of the 12th man and, and uh, our, our community, our fans, uh, our kids love playing here. We as coaches love playing here, and, and uh, we do. We've got nine home games this year, so nine of our 11 games are at home. Uh, we feel like uh, you know we have a distinct home field advantage when we're here and and uh, hopefully we can we can take advantage of that and uh, season tickets were on sale recently and had a great turnout as always yeah. and then uh, also you know uh, a story was done recently because we're one of the few teams uh, in the state of florida if not the one of the only teams in the state of florida uh, that sell season tickets and that's that's a big compliment to the whole program and the organization i think i think it speaks volumes for our community and and uh the hard work that's that's gone into this program long before you know I've been around, and, and so I'm just you know humbled to be here and, and uh, hopefully keep it going. Season tickets I think are at an all-time high this year, and uh, and so we're excited and hopefully we can pack them in each and every game. Uh, losing the quarterback uh, Dalton Stokes uh, to graduation uh, did a great job for us last year, uh, and we do have uh, what I consider one of the most high-powered offenses uh, in the area. Uh, how do you plan on uh, fulfilling that gap? Well, we've got two guys right now battling for that, that position, and uh, two good quality players, uh, Carter Stanley and Carson Proctor. Uh, they both had really, really good summers and uh, continue to do well you know, through fall camp. And, and I think we need both guys to win games. Uh, you know, as, as they say, you know, each one does a little something different and, and uh, bring a little something different to the table. So uh, extremely pleased with the quarterbacks. They, uh, they're hardworking kids. They're great kids. And, and uh, looking forward to watch, watching each of those guys play.